Okay, I'd like to show you how to make a water water portrait with hair that turns into water. So it starts out with an image like this, and then we slowly add the different water elements to the hair. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how exactly to do that. So, first things first, I went to, uh, I want you to look at the examples of other people who did water portraits. And you can kind of see them. People did Beetlejuice, Michael Jackson. Um, some are done a little bit more tastefully than others, right? And as we come down, we have a whole bunch of uh, other ones here, okay? So these are examples of other students' work, and I'd like you guys to choose your own subject matter. So now, with that said, here is the image that I had chosen, and it started with this image. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So we're going to go to the Internet, and I found a person, all right? I just typed in person's face, and I did a quick search. I right-click copy the image, and then I'm going to go into Photoshop and watch how we do I'm going to go to File, New, and keep the uh, settings the same. Go to create and now I'm gonna to go to edit paste now I need to make this canvas bigger so if you could, you could do this one of two ways um, you could shrink this image control T and you can make it a little bit smaller and put it over here or what I do is control Z I'm going to go to image oops uh, control T. Uh, boom all right I'm gonna come here stand by the other option is is to go to image canvas size and when you go to image canvas size I'm gonna make the height um, a little bigger I'll double it close to 800 I'll hit OK and now the height is bigger and I got the size the way that I need it so I'll click on the move tool and I'm gonna put this down over to here now alright now I have a lot of room up there for the hair and stuff now I'm gonna notice if I take away the background that this here has a background on it well the way to get rid of a background, as I've showed you guys, you go to Window, Properties, and in the Properties menu, you go to Remove Background. And it will automatically put a layer mask on the background and get rid of it. Boom, background gone. All right. So now we can click the Move tool, uh, Control D, Control T. All right. Now, next order of business is. I'm going to now change the color of this person here. So in order to do that, I'm going to click on this image part, not the mask, the image part, and I'm going to hit Control B. You guys all know the color balance menu. I'm going to move this to blue. I'll move this over here. Now the highlight is really where you're going to get the blue. So I'm going to move her over to here, and now this part really gives it that blue color. This gives it that blue color. Okay. Now that we have the blue over here, I'll lighten it just a little bit. Now that we have cropped the image, now that we have cropped the image rather, and we have um, changed the color balance of, of this person, of this particular subject, I have it. Now I'm going to go to the internet and I typed in water splash and I got a couple of different splashes. I'm going to right click copy this image, go into Photoshop, I'm going to go to edit paste. Now I'm going to shrink the water and watch how we do this. We're going to click on the magic wand tool. I'm going to click on the white and hit delete. I'm going to click, get a little closer. Click on the magic wand tool, click on the white and hit delete. And I'm getting rid of all the little white areas in here. So this way it's just strictly water. Now I'm going to hit control D. Control zero backs out. On the water layer, I'm going to hit control T. I want to flip it around, maybe like this. And I can put this water now over to here. And now I could hold shift and shrink the water a little bit more like this. And now I have it like that. Now watch this. I can also click on this tool right here. And it makes the, whoopsie, sorry about that. This tool right here. And now look, the water gets completely malleable. I can change it and make it wider. And it gives it like a, a completely different feel. All right, so there you have that. Now, you can also duplicate this water if I wanted to. And now I have two of them. So if I click the Move tool, now I have another piece of water. And I could also flip this going this way. And I can make it go, maybe the water goes this way. You see that? Now it goes over here. But I maybe I don't want it um, over her eyes, so I'll click on the Mesh tool. 
and I'll drag it up a little bit and now the water comes over to here all right there you go now let's get some more water on her all right I don't like actually this part of the water so I can use the eraser tool and I can erase water over here that I don't want right and there you have it so now let's get another piece of water I'll come over here and I got this piece I'm gonna right click copy the image go into Photoshop edit paste I'm gonna hit control T I'm gonna shrink this water down even further and now I have it here I am going to first cut this bottom thing off and then I will click on the magic wand tool and delete stuff that I don't want and there you have that now oh, over here is a lot of white delete now control D control T will shrink that water down even further and I'm gonna put that water maybe I want to flip it around over to here and I want it like this so now I have her water going that way I'll hold shift and drag this water in and now the water is coming this way or I'll flip it and make it go this way see how I'm doing it now now I have a little bit more of her hair and then I could duplicate this oopsie is it this the water I had? yeah it's this one so I'll come in you should be naming your layers so this would be left side on the left side I'll duplicate the left side and now I got two of them I'll bring it whoopsie sorry about that on this left side I will take it and move it up further flip it around move it down a bit and now I've got some more different types of water now now that I have this you guys get an idea of how this works so now I'm gonna crop this and shrink this down over to here and move it down over to here and here and now I have actually cropped the image so I'll click the move tool and boom and if I put the background back there you have it now I have water as turned into hair okay and that is exactly the way that we do this all right it's a very simple project it's a fun project and the thing about this is the main thing is the free transformation tool when you hit control T it shows you this tool right here how to mesh how to use this and really make um, <coughs> free transforming something any way that you really want and the color balance also so if I hit control B I can also change the color of the hair see how the hair changes a bit and I could bring it over to make it match her a little bit more okay and I'll hit this one control B move the color balance make it a little bit more blue there you got it and we'll move it over to right about there to bring out the color of her eyes and then we'll come on the bottom one control B boom see how that blue really picks up now and you can move it there and you have more blue and that's that now what's this one this one and this one and last but most certainly not least will be this one we'll hit control B move it over to the blue boom there you have it I like that just like that and now you can see how this image is now becoming like these other water portraits Okay, so you can have some fun with this you can do any artist musician you can do any subject matter that you like um, again you're changing the image of somebody so do it with integrity and you're not here to hurt anyone's feelings and that's it so have fun with this and enjoy thank you